Hello, and welcome to the CA ArcServe D2D How-To Video Series. In this video, we'll show you how to perform a file copy job. CA ArcServe D2D lets you copy or move source files from a backup session to a disk or cloud destination based on settings you define. A file copy job can only be launched automatically after a specified number of backups and is based on your schedule settings. Therefore, you can only copy a file if the volume is protected by CA ArcServe D2D. In this video, we'll show you how to copy source files to a cloud destination using file copy settings. Let's get started. From the system tray icon, launch the application or click settings. From the settings screen, click the file copy settings tab. There are three file copy settings screens to complete. Let's start with the source screen. First, click the Enable File Copy option. If this option is not checked, no file copying is performed. Next, click a source from the list or click Add to specify a new one. On the Policy Type screen, select the type of file copy job you want to perform. File copy is like a copy-paste operation, while file copy delete source is like a cut and paste operation. Let's choose File Copy so we can allow for multiple stored versions of our source file and then click OK. On the File Copy Policy screen, specify or browse to the folder where the source file is stored, for example, Documents and Settings. Click OK. Next, specify a filter. Let's choose to include all Microsoft Office documents, including Excel spreadsheets, PowerPoint decks, and RTF or TXT files. And click Add. Finally, click OK. Click the Destination screen. You can save file copies to a local or network drive or to a cloud location. Let's choose File Copy to Cloud and then click Configure to specify your cloud connection credentials. Enter your cloud vendor type. You should ensure your computer is synchronized to Greenwich Mean Time or the connection may not work. When you're done entering cloud configuration details, click Test Connection to verify that it works and then click OK to return to the destination screen. Enable the compression and encryption options if you want. Compression decreases storage space but can slow down file copy speed. Scroll down and specify the retention time or file version's value, depending on the file copy type you specified. The retention time setting applies only if you select the file copy delete source option. This field lets you specify the amount of time that the copy data is retained at the destination. At the end of the specified retention time, the stored data is purged from that destination. The file version setting only applies if you select the file copy option. This field lets you specify how many copies are stored at the destination. After this number is exceeded, the earliest or oldest version is discarded. Click Schedule. The number you enter here specifies the number of successful backups that must be performed before a file copy job is triggered. This can be full, incremental, or verify backup jobs. Save your settings. That's it. Your critical source files are now automatically configured to be copied to a cloud destination according to the settings you specified. For more information about this and other procedures, please visit the website where you can download the latest documentation or view additional titles in the series. Thanks for watching.